Hi, Hiram here. Going to do another test on this grill top stove from uh, canteenshop.com. I've been asked to do that coddle burner again, the one that has the wick on the inside. It's one inch exhaust wrap held in place by the uh, quarter inch hardware cloth. But I've been asked to do it without the modification to the canteen to the grill top so that we can see what it does. I've got an ounce of alcohol here. That looks like it about half about half fills it. Let it get up into the wick. Got two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees. And I think that should be up there now. Okay, that started. Put the grill top on top of it and then the canteen on top of that and let's see where this goes. Okay, it looks like the flames are just about ready to go out. They already just went out at 7 minutes 30 seconds. 7 minutes 30 seconds. Temperature got to... It's going up to 103. Now what happens is this is holding heat. The uh, grill top, that's a good thing about it. It does hold heat. It's going up to 2004. Okay, 2004, come on. 204, 205. Even though the flame went out at 7.30. Okay, is that the last temperature? 205. Yep, let's say 205 at 26 now. Okay, let's say 206 at 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, so that was two cups of water. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Using my coddle stove with one fluid ounce of alcohol. If I had put more in, of course, then it would have gotten this to boil with a little bit of extra time. But that was with one ounce of one fluid ounce of alcohol. It brought two cups of water up to 206 degrees in, I don't know how to measure this. It was 7.30, the flames went out. But at eight minutes and 30 seconds, it got it up to 206 degrees because of the residual heat in the grill top. So that's my coddle stove with the grill top stand stove. I have some other ideas to work with. Uh, I got these uh, corner braces. I bent one to fit right on here. But the thing is these are kind of heavy not as heavy as the four bolts, the stainless steel bolts, but fairly heavy. I have this other strapping that I thought maybe I'd bend the same way and give this a try. But I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks on this, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.